The rack and pinion relation relates two mates, one with a rotational degree of freedom and one with a translational degree of freedom. The relation translates rotational motion from one component to translational motion in the other, or vice versa. To define the mate relation, select the rack and pinion relation and specify each mate that should be related. For a rack and pinion, this is typically a revolute mate and a slider mate. If other mates with additional degrees of freedom are specified, a dialog appears next to the selected mate prompting the selection of which degree of freedom should be constrained by the rack and pinion relation. The distance per revolution can then be defined. This is the translational distance traveled for every one full 360 degrees of rotation of the component with rotational degree of freedom. For most gears, this distance will be equal to the pitch circle circumference, or the pitch circle diameter multiplied by pi. To reverse the direction of travel, check the reverse direction checkbox. Once the relation is applied, the motion can be verified by either rotating the pinion or translating the rack. The related components should move in relation to one another. The rack and pinion relation is not limited to actual rack and pinions. It can be used whenever a rotational motion from one component should result in a linear motion from another. For example, a radio tuning knob might use a rack and pinion relation to move the tuning needle.